English Language Arts, Grade A, Module 3A Overview, Japanese-American Relations During World War II. Guiding Questions. How does war and conflict affect individuals and societies? How do historians and readers reconcile multiple accounts of the same event? How can narrative be used to communicate real events? How does captivity make the captive invisible? How can individuals become visible again? What are the advantages and disadvantages of using different media? The big ideas? The war affected both ordinary Japanese Americans and American prisoners of war in life-changing ways. War and conflict bring important yet divergent experiences to individuals and societies. There are important yet divergent experiences in war and conflict. Mid-Unit 1 Assessment is a fishbowl note catcher understanding perspectives on the Pearl Harbor attack. Students consider conflicting information regarding the attack on Pearl Harbor by closely studying the response to the attack by either FDR or the Japanese government. They will analyze how the information they have learned might affect an individual in a society, and they will collect information on a graphic organizer that will be formally assessed as the mid-unit assessment. They will present their assigned perspective in a fishbowl discussion. End of Unit 1 assessment is a fishbowl discussion comparing conflicting accounts of the Pearl Harbor attack. The students will participate in a fishbowl discussion that examines the Japanese and American responses to the attack on Pearl Harbor. The students will set speaking goals for themselves as they participate in the fishbowl discussion and will have the opportunity to self-reflect on those goals. In order to have a smaller group for the discussions, this assessment takes place across two days. Half of the class discusses while the other half observes and then the two groups switch roles. Mid-Unit 2 assessment is evaluating and classifying primary sources. The students will use various mediums to convey information about World War II. They will then evaluate the advantages and disadvantages of using different media to convey information on a topic. And finally, they will complete an analysis using a graphic organizer. End of Unit 2 assessment is an informational essay, The Invisibility of Captives During World War II. The students will write an informational essay in response to the following prompt. During World War II, what were the efforts to make both Japanese American internees and American POWs in Japan invisible, and how did each group resist? Use the strongest evidence from Unbroken and selected other informational sources about Japanese American internees. This is a two-part assessment, so in part one is the student's best independent draft, and part two is their final revised draft. In mid-unit three assessment is a single draft narrative writing. The students will briefly research Mine Okubo's life after internment. They're going to write a narrative in which they tell the story of how Okubo went from being made invisible during internment to becoming visible post-internment. Their students will base their narrative on the following prompt. Writing from Mine's Okubo's perspective, tell the story of one episode in her struggle to become visible again after leaving the internment camp. Using narrative techniques and incorporate information from sources from Okubo's life to write an original narrative to answer the question, how did Okubo become visible again after her life in the internment camp? The narrative must end with the sentence, I was visible again. End of Unit 3 Assessment is an analysis of language techniques. The students will answer both multiple choice and short answer questions. They will determine the effectiveness of simple language techniques, of functions, types of verbs, subjunctive and conditional mood in a sentence, meaning conveyed by using the active and passive voice. The performance task was where students will share their narrative writing from mid-unit three in a small group setting with other students and reflect upon the research-based story they have written. The criteria includes 
following the narrative structure, including a strong lead or exposition, rising action with a logical progression of three events in the story, climax, reflection, and conclusion. They will include narrative techniques such as dialogue, description and details, pacing, transition words and phrases, precise words and sensory language, and reflection. They will include research-based facts and details which add authenticity to the story, and they will adhere to the conventions of standard written English. The protocols used throughout this module include Turn and Talk, Think Pair Share, Chalkboard Splash, Write Pair Share, Gallery Walk, Get One, Get One, Move On, Written Conversation, and Fishbowl. The ongoing assessments in Module 3A include the Notice Wonder Note Catcher, Unbroken Structured Notes, Vocabulary Square, Quick Write Allusions, Understanding Perspectives, the Pearl Harbor Graphic Organizer, Text Dependent Questions, Vocabulary Word Sort, Written Conversation, Entrance and Exit Tickets, Things Good Writers Do Note Catcher, Understanding Me Nay, Character Traits Quick Write and Graphic Organizer, Primary Sources, to Japanese American Internment During World War II Packet, Sorts Comparison Strips, Conditional and Subjunctive Mood Handout, Three Threes in a Row Note Catcher, Gathering Textual Evidence Note Catcher, Double Arrow Visibility Graphic Organizer, Narrative Writing, Becoming Visible Again After Internment Note Catcher, and Becoming Visible Again After Internment Story Map, Narrative and Language Techniques, Becoming Visible Again After Internment Planner, Independent Reading Book Review, Self-Assessment of Performance Task, Ways to support students throughout your modules include posting learning targets, discussing and clarifying learning targets, structuring the Notice Wonder Graphic Organizer, a visible timer, adapting reading strips for all students, reading aloud exit tickets, referencing questions throughout the unit, using a different structure or resource other than a journal for student writing, providing models for expected work, the length of text, questions and notes handouts during cold calls and throughout the units, reviewing graphic organizers, and partially filling in graphic organizers. This is Grade 8, Module 3A. Thank you.